Yeah. So today I'm in the Toyota GT1 car that I was lucky enough to race at Le Mans in 1998 and 99. We should have won the race in this car in 99. Started on pole, led comfortably, but then had a puncture going down the Mulsanne straight at over 200 miles an hour. So uh, we didn't get back to the pits, unfortunately. It was a bit of a scary thing in the middle of the night. Uh, it, it's a beautiful looking car even today, and I can't wait to have a go in it. And it's sort of you jump in them and it all floods back to you, all the little bits and pieces, the ergonomics of it, the things that stick into your leg and you remember them hurting before. And, you know, luckily I still fit in my overalls and the seat that I used back in 99 as well, so it's made me happy. The Goodwood Hill is quite narrow now with the straw bales. Uh, there's some new tarmac this year which helps a little bit. It's very easy to do something silly around here because the track comes at you quite quickly in a couple of places and you've got the big flint wall and uh, cold tyres, cold brakes, so you really have to treat it all with a little bit of respect, especially of course if you haven't been in these cars, sometimes you've never driven them and others you haven't driven for 15, 20 years, so you have to get used to the systems and understand you know, the way the throttle works and how to shift it, how to, I've just had a lesson how to get this thing into neutral and so it goes on. As soon as I get out of this car, uh, I'm going to Porta Press, the book stand, where I'm signing copies of my new book, Martin Brunner's Scrapbook and then straight over from there to the Toyota stand to do a little bit of talking up on stage there back into the driver area get ready for the next run I'm also in a Jaguar XJS but I want to see my son in my old Benetton B192 from the 92 season so his first ever drive in an F1 guy is 22 years old so I'm looking forward to seeing him come up the hill too